Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna play a quick nine holes. I'm teeing off at like seven in the morning and it's like 50 degrees out in Rochester, New York. Um, I'm playing, uh, I'm gonna concentrate on just using a single plane swing and I'm gonna try to not deviate from it. And if you notice, I'm also using hybrid irons. Um, everything from the pitching wedge all the way down to the five iron is going to be a hybrid iron set. Let me know what you think about that. I get made fun of a lot for that because uh, people tell me I'm too young at 47 to be switching to hybrid irons, but I'm really confident with them and I like them and I would love to get your comments below on uh, whether or not you think I'm doing this too soon in my life um, because usually it's older people that use the hybrid irons when they lose their swing speed. I haven't lost my swing speed yet, but I seem to like them. So let me know what you think. Part four, I'm gonna hit driver. Shout out to L.A. Geronimo who uh, actually suggested this. He left a comment in one of my previous videos that he thought a lot of my subscribers were probably right-handed and they probably appreciate seeing these videos mirror. Okay, that was a nice draw. It started left edge of the fairway and it just drew in right in the middle. Perfect shot. Okay, I got about 78 yards to the middle. I'm gonna hit a little uh, sand wedge. So you're going to notice throughout this video that a lot of times I say the ball went like left or right. It's the opposite because this is a swing flip. It's a mirrored, it's a mirrored video of me making it look like I'm right-handed. Okay, I'm going to just chip a little sandwich on, try to get it close. I thought this was a great idea, and if it's a successful video, I'll probably do it with all my vlogs, um, including the ones in the past and any ones I do in the future. came up a little short and I'm gonna have work for par. Okay, that's a, that's a bogey to start off. That's not ideal. That is not an ideal start at all. Um, let's try to get it back on the short par three. Okay, this next hole's a par, par three. It's 115 yards. I'm gonna hit a little pitching wedge hybrid. Okay, so I did go a little bit long here. Um, it ran through the right, right of the green and ended up behind the green a little bit. Let's get up and down for par here. Okay, not my best shot. I really wanted, I really wanted to give myself a gimme there, and I didn't. I have work for par again. All right, that that's two bogeys to start the round. Not fun, not fun at all. Short game needs a lot of work. Okay, I got about 115 yards. I'm gonna hit, uh, I'm gonna hit a little baby pitching wedge hybrid. Okay, 153 yards, I'm gonna hit an eight, eight hybrid. My eight hybrid is a 36 degree hybrid. That was going right towards the left edge of the green, however, I think it's just a little bit short. Probably should have swung a little harder on it. 
Should be a good up and down now. As you can see, it looks like it went to the right edge of the green. Um, it really did go to the left edge of the green, but again, this is a mirrored swing flip video. Uh, I am left-handed and this is mirrored right-handed. Okay, that's a good par, that's two pars in a row, but I gotta get some birdies to make up those two bogeys I started with. Okay, we've got 172 to the middle. Um, I'm gonna hit the seven hybrid because I do hit it longer than my seven iron. Let's see how it goes. Okay, that that's a little right. Uh, it was a really nice struck shot. Um, it's just a little right of the green though. I'm gonna have to get up and down again. Okay, this went way further than I expected. I actually hit that about 185, 190. Um, so I gotta try to get up and down again. Okay, that's a, that's a really good shot. I think that's a tap in. Looks like I'm real close, about two footer. You know, it's funny. So that was a two footer, but that tap in, I was aiming, I was aiming to hit the pin in the middle and I, it went in on the right side of the hole. That's not good. That's not good at all because if that was a longer putt, I would have missed right. So what's interesting about these swing flip mirrored videos is it does show the correct ball flight. I really did hit a draw or a hook left-handed. Okay, it just reversed it. Held that up really good. It kind of trickled out of the tree line. Um, I've got about 200 yards. I'm going to hit a four hybrid. That was a decent shot. It was a draw. Uh, went to the right of the green. Okay, here we go. I need another, yet another up and down. Um, I don't have much green to work with. I'm gonna hit a 60 degree wedge, try to stop one right near the pin. Okay, that was a really, really good shot. I think I got about a three or four footer for par. Let's go sink it. Okay, that one was better. That one actually hit the middle of the pin, which is where I was aiming. So I didn't pull it or push it. It was a pretty good putt. Okay, I don't think I could hit a drive any better than that. Down the middle, a little draw, and uh, I hit it a little low on the face. I saw the mark on it, just a little low on the face, so I suppose I could have hit it a little higher on the club face in the sweet spot, but it was a perfect ball flight. Okay, that drive went 282 yards. Um, it is into the wind a little bit, so I lost a little distance with that, but it was, I mean, look at this, this is perfect. I'm like, got him like 20, five yards to the pin here. I'm gonna hit a lob wedge and try to get it really close. I wanna birdie this hole and get back one of those strokes in the first two holes. Go in. Oh. Okay, that is going to be a little, you know what? I'm not even going to bring my putter. I'm going to just, I'm just going to walk up and tap this in with a wedge. This is like six inches. Okay, that was just, that was just what I needed. Uh, that brings me back to one over par. 
those first two holes, I, you know, I wasn't warm. I, I didn't, I didn't hit any balls before. You know, the sun came up and I went out there and I hit. Um, I was a little, little stiff, and I think that contributed to why I bogeyed those first two holes. But hey, I got one back. We're back on track. Plus one going into the 17th hole. Okay, that's my miss. If you guys, if anyone, if anyone here has watched my channel, my miss is a hook, the low hook, and that's what I did. But it's clear area up there. I should have a shot to the green. Okay, it worked out okay. I'm only about 105 yards to the middle. It's uphill a bit. The pin is just past that little tree there, just to the left of it. Um, I am gonna hit a baby little pitching wedge. Okay, I think that's gonna end up close to the green. Uh, maybe on the front fringe, maybe before it, we'll see. Okay, didn't quite make, well, I guess you consider this fringe. It's kind of like fairway, you know, around the green. So I am gonna putt this. Um, these are usually a little hard to judge for me, but here we go. That's a great putt. That's a gimme palm. All right, I'm uh, I'm one over, one over going to the last hole of my nine holes here. Um, I'm pretty happy with that, considering. Considering I had a bad start and uh, I kind of rushed coming out, not warming up. First two holes I was stiff and uh, I bogeyed the first two holes, but I've got all pars and one birdie since then. And uh, let's see if I can make a birdie on the last hole to get back to even par. Okay, that was an awesome drive. Uh, it went really high, so I don't think it's super, super long, but it's right right in the middle of the fairway. Okay, I'm a little shocked that went as far as it went. Um, it did go 280 yards. It is, uh, it's about 115 to the pin now. I have a, a, a lie here where the ball is way below my feet. So I gotta aim just a little bit right because it might go a little left on me here. This is a pitching wedge hybrid. It's a 40, 45 degree pitching wedge hybrid. Okay, that wasn't really a surprise. So it came off really low. So I hit it low on the club head. Um, it bounced on the green and I think it went just off the back. Um, gotta learn to account for those uh, balls that are below my feet and I gotta go down and get them a little bit more. Okay, so this was what I would classify as a good mess. I'm over the green a bit. Uh, it didn't go too far though. I've got a shot to get up and down for par here. I just gotta stick this one close. Okay, so I got my par. Uh, that's one over through nine. Uh, that's pretty pretty good. I'm proud of that. I'm happy with that. Um, if I can keep shooting like that, do this for 18 holes, maybe I'll get down to a single digit someday.